Hi everybody! Welcome back to Panda Girl or Panda Babes, however you know me. Um, <laughs> um, I've seen a few of you commenting on my question about merging my my beauty with my vaping, and I love the comments. I can definitely tell who are my true blue fans, and yeah, I just love it. Um, so today we are going to do a, a review, first impression kind of review show and tell of a art RTA is called the Solomon 2 leak proof RTA and it's just basic orange contain container I mean container boxing but so we're gonna go down on the table and we're gonna get into it and I'm gonna put a build on it and vape on it um but before I do all that if you haven't already, and if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Panda. Um, welcome to the Panda family, you know. <laughs> um, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It's right down there somewhere, you know. Um, it doesn't hurt you. It don't, it don't cost nothing. And you know you want to, so just do it, okay? <laughs> um, and it helps me out so much when you do, and it gives me... This is my confidence stuff. I thought I would wear like a hoodie today. Um, I think this is Travis's like school hoodie, so I feel like oh, like I'm wearing his school hoodie. I don't know. Oh, it's probably his dad's or something. I have no clue who it is, but it's cute. It's all like baggy on me. I look so cute with my ban banana socks. Ugh. <laughs> um, so anyway, so yeah, hit the subscribe button so you're always up to date with me. Also hit the bell so you don't miss out on nothing. You want to get, you want to get those notifications, you know, you want to. Um, I lost my train of thought. Alright, so we're going to go down to the table. We're going to check this RT, RTA out and we're going to talk about it and vape on it and then I want to tell you my final thoughts and we're going to also put a build on it you know so let's get down to the table and I'll see you there So we're down at the table and okay so here is the case Salomon 2 I hope I'm pronouncing that right or I'm tearing it apart I'm doing something um, it is a leak proof RTA now something about leak proof RTAs is because the air flows are going to be at the top and a lot of times with those it's a hit or miss with me sometimes it the flavor is just not there and sometimes doesn't this ring just look so gorgeous on me oh, I just can't get over it that I am engaged oh, I know all you men out there are so heartbroken it's okay it's all right you're fine you're finding yourself a Maria <laughs> I'm just kidding um, so here is the box. It is nothing to write home about. It's basically just a basic box. It's, it looks kind of yellow on the camera, but it is bright orange. I promise you. Let me see if I can turn down my lighting. See, it is orange, orange, orange. And so here is the box, and it says Lake Proof RTA. The company's name Kate Keys Salomon Salomon Two Salomon Two. <laughs> the picture of the RTA and the color that you have. I have stainless steel, and the name again where it's from. The name again of what it is. The name again where it's from, <laughs> and the scratch and sniff. And I would think this is a tangerine flavoring of a sticker. Yeah, oh yeah. Scratching sniffy sniff tangerine. Um, this is where you can contact them on Instagram and Facebook and also their emails. And yeah, and it's made in China. And okay, cat hair, cat hair. And here is the bottom. All right, so it says top airflow system, no leaking. You have a 3.5 milliliter um, tube, which is a regular 
tube and also you have a five milliliter um with different tubes <laughs> i don't understand what that means but i do know that it, it comes pre-installed with the fish tank tube which that's what i call it you call it whatever you want and then it has the regular tube um it is 24 millimeter in diameter 25 millimeter in height 24 car karat gold plating deck plat platform I am not wearing my glasses, which I should be, but I don't have them by on deck, so you know. Super con conductivity. Oh, that was, they were trying to sabotage me with that big word. You see that? You see that. Well, I got those. High quality design with three or four stainless steel. Ooh, more environmental protection. Drip tip 510 and then 810. Both are available. Now, what? this baby comes with is a one Salomon 2 RTA there <laughs> I would hope it would come with that I <laughs> know I'm like kidding um, an 810 drip tip one screwdriver which is a very odd looking screwdriver I'm wondering if mine's broke I don't know um, one spare glass tube 510 drip tip now it says it comes with a user manual um, I've seen a few boxes of these and they did not have the user manual I don't know if the we because we got them before we got them like before anyone else did so I don't know if it's just our boxes don't have the manual but no clue um, but who really reads those anyway you know YouTube is our user manuals most of the time and Google. And now you have one Clapton coil, 510 drip tip adapter, and spare parts. And it lets you know where they're located, their address and such, and all their warning signs. Keep out of reach of children. That is a good, good, good one. And that's basically it, guys. We've done the review. No, <laughs> I'm only kidding. All right, so that's basically all that's on the box. It is nothing, like I said, to write home about. This, and it opens up, up like a little jewelry box, you know? Women like jewelry boxes. And, and here is the actual RTA. I, I, yeah. Um, now here's your your regular glass tube tube it's just a regular glass it comes pre-installed with the fish tank tube and it's just this is your 810 drip tip and your 510 drip tip right here it's just a normal flat um I actually like these the flat black um 810 drip tips and let's see if I can actually get this one out 2000 years later Here's your 510 drip tip. Boop. And we're not going to get to the RTA just yet. We'll put that aside. Now here is all your goodies. You got your O-rings. You got your screwdriver. You got your Clapton coil. You got your adapter. You got your screws. And I have to say, okay, I have to say that this is one of the nicest coils I've seen that came pre-made in one of these bags because usually they're really janky and the screwdriver is really weird, like... Like it doesn't have... It doesn't have a tip really weird i'm wondering if my screwdriver is broke or it belongs like this We're sh we shall shake we shall s we shall see oh pff, i cannot talk what the heck we shall see now let me show you this um now it is not nothing like crazy but i just i appreciate a nice pre-made coil especially when it's coming in the box i just like that and I just think that is a really nice coil for being one that comes in the box for you to use. 
Usually I would just put these aside. I wouldn't use the coil that it comes with, but this is an actually really nice coil. And I'm going to use it. Yes, I am. Okay, so let's take this apart. And we're, I'm going to just, first of all, I want to show you the actual RTA. Now, it is stainless steel, but I love that they throw in the 24 karat gold right there. It is just beautiful. It just it throw it just makes it, it just makes it um nice to the eye because it's not just all stainless steel. So this could match something like a copper um like it, it would look okay on this. It would look okay on anything because they threw in that gold. Um, so this is the the um, drip tip that it comes with. I love these big chubby ones. Ugh. And it has a line with the crown right there. I love that because I'm a Leo, so I can so appreciate that. And it is also hybrid safe, as you can see for yourself. And then when you first get this that top will be hard to take off you have to put some elbow grease into that but eventually it does come off the machinery on this is so beautiful it is clean there is no sharp edges it is good to go it doesn't smell like machine oil or anything which I hate Ugh. I just love how clean it is. It is so so clean. And then here is your your um drip your juice holes that you would drip into to fill it up. They're nice and big so you can fit anything in there. And there is two of those. And they, also the airflow is on both sides. So whatever you do to one is on the other. So you can't shut down one side. You have to you probably you can just if you if you want to you can go halfway and it's going to go halfway on the other side so that's basically like having one open you know and on the bottom it says the name again Salomon 2 K's by Keys K's I love how it has the knurled bottom and the knurled top for the grip I hate when an RTA or RDA anything does not have the grips and it just is a pain in the butt to take apart because them grips mean something I mean they they do matter and I just love these the fish tank um glass now if you want you don't want to use the fish tank glass it's oh I didn't know that came off okay okay let me put that back on. I think I broke it. Go back, go back, go back. There you go. So, so I guess, can you, I wonder if. So if you want to clean it, you can clean in there. You can do whatever. So that's cool that that comes off. Just, you have to use it because otherwise you can't like. Unless you didn't, you honestly didn't want to change your airflow, then whatever. It's up to you. So, to take it off, it's easy. Just put your finger in there and push. And there you go. And then you can change your glass. But I'm going to keep this glass. And then you got, um, there's like a divot right there. And oh, it's such a clean machine. Clean machine? <laughs> you, there's a couple of um, sanding. You see that there's a little bit of a couple of marks but who the heck is looking in there honestly I don't know if that would actually mess with your um your um flavor intake or or, or how the flavor goes but whatever now you're probably wondering what why is that in, why is that divot there what is going on what's going on with that divot um this is the deck guys it is very crazy <laughs> I have to say and they that isn't Let's see if I can get you focus a little more you see that there is like little holes that's why 
there is no tip on here because it's just gonna go bloop just like that and I guess if this is so it takes up some of that airflow you get better flavor you know so we're gonna see if this is panda proof you know me I have the hard roughest time um, wicking RTAs so we're gonna see they, they ha do give you a lot of room so I love that and you got a lot of well space so but. all right so we're going to build on this baby I'll play some music for you guys just listen to the elevator music and you will be okay circus cookie in there once I wick it with some big bacon ba cotton bacon prime you know how I do guys you know how I do love this stuff I know there's some people that just don't like it I don't know if it's just that they want to be haters or they just you know they're stuck on what they like but I love this stuff and I swear by it honestly um I'm not I mean I don't it's not like I'm getting anything for saying that I love cotton bacon oh you can't even see me sorry um I just leave I always pull my wick up just a little bit so it's not stuffed down into juice area juice hole and yeah there it is right there all right i'm gonna put juice in here and see how it wicks and i will be right back well i'll, I'll put some juice in here and then i'll be right back and then we're gonna wick on, we're gonna vape on it and i'll tell you my final thoughts see you soon hi hi guys and i am back um did you miss me i know you did i am like addicted to popcorn Jelly Bellies. Okay. Travis got me a big bag, and some of them are mixed up with pina colada and his that he likes, which I forget what they are, but they're so good. I love them. Um. All right, so here is the final look. with the e-liquid putting in I just love the bubble um the fish tank the bubble fish tank um tank bubble fish tank tank <laughs> glass tank I think it is just unique and beautiful I'm ever since they I've seen the first seen it for the first time I think it was on Sophie's channel she had one and I was like oh my god I, I need that I need to have that tank like the just the glass tank it's just amazing looking it's a beautiful beautiful RTA I think it's very nice it's well made um all the mechanics on it are clean it I mean you have a little bit of a hard I had a bit of a hard time I 
again, if, um, if I'm blurry, I apologize, still getting used to this camera. Um, I had a bit of a hard time shutting it, but you just got to match it up to that little indentation inside. Once you match that up, play around with it and you eventually shut it. <laughs> that's all I can, that's my only, um, that's the only opinion, opinion. That's all the advice I can offer you because I honestly have troubles shutting it still. So, that's what I do. Um, it does suck up mighty a lot of juice. Let's see, let's put some more e-liquid inside there. And I am using Circus Cookie um, by Puff Labs. I just love their e-liquids and they're just so good. I still gotta review this one. I haven't got to review it yet, but that's why it's a full bottle, <laughs> because let me tell you, I vape the Krizat out of their e-liquids. They just have very good e-liquids. If you don't know Puff Labs, you need to get to know them, because they're going to be your best friend, okay? They have amazing, they're a little pricey, They're but... For what their e-liquids are, their premium e-liquids, they're amazing. They're worth the price, I'm telling you. So anyway, we're not here for the e-liquid. We're here for this RTA, the Salomon Tool. Salomon Tool. Salomon Tool. Um, I love the aesthetics of it. I love how it looks. I love how it works. I love how it... Once you get the top open, it... It's easy to take off and on. Um, I, I wish it was connected, though, the top. Just because if you're out and about, it's kind of a pain in the butt to have to hold the top, hold hold your mod, and put um, e-liquid in. Especially if, like, you're in a car or something. Like, it just isn't realistic to take this out because the top comes off. They should have made it so the top actually was connected somehow. Um, that way, you, it's one less hassle, you know. Um, and I, I do like I just have an issue putting it back on, but I think it just it takes practice. Just knowing that you have to stick it in that little indentation on in the the um, chimney, and then and then match it up and put it in. And I've also noticed if the glass is a certain is. This is might be in my head, but I if it doesn't if I'm just having such a bad issue to put in the put in the bottom one, I turn the glass upside down and then I try it that way and it works for me. I don't know. It might just be all in my head, but um yeah. So let's vape on this baby and see. Now before I vape on it, I have to say I loved building on it. It was very easy to build on. It was like super easy and I love easy easy especially because I have nails so I don't need anything that's like complicated Travis showed me um this art I think it was RTA or RDA I forget but the build deck was insane I'm like I couldn't even I wouldn't even know how to do it with my nails like there would be no way he had problems building on it so I can just imagine me it will probably want to be. It will probably be one of them R R T A S R D A S whatever it is that I won't be building on or reviewing because yeah, I don't want to like take an hour to try to build on something. It's just not me. All right, so we are. I have this full blast, wide open. You know me. I love them clouds and um. I got it at 121 watts on my um, custom mod. This has a 220 DNA in it. And yeah, we're going to vape on it. And it's at, it keeps changing. It's now it's 0.21 ohms. Alright, let's vape on this. Let's see. Make sure. Let's go. And it's definitely, definitely, definitely forgivable. The um, built, the wicking is amazingly easy. Like if a panda can do it, anyone can do it. It is panda approved. 
seriously, if I can rig this RTA and get e-liquid juicing out of my, um, into my mouth, out of my vape, then anyone can because I have the hardest time wicking RTAs. And this one has the biggest wick holes that there is no possible way that you're going to get a dry hit. I'm just letting you know that right now. Alright, now let me stop talking and let's vape on this. That was a super juicy vape. Ooh. I like juicy vapes, but I don't like it where it, I'm like drinking juice. And that was so juicy. Ooh. Might have got a little in the middle, which you do not want to do. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Now, that is a nice vape. Okay. <laughs> wow. It is so flavorful, and it gives you so much, like, it just, it's a, it's a great vape. I love it. Like, um, I know Travis said that he wasn't a big fan of it. Um, it wasn't, it, he couldn't figure out, like, a good medium. Oh, I hate when I have so much e-liquid, like, that I swallowed, and it's gross. Like, it burns your throat a little bit, because of the nicotine. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he was saying that he was having a pro. he just didn't like it, he didn't think it had, was very flavorful. I, on the other hand, am debating on that answer because I like it. I think it's very flavorful. I'm getting very good wickings. I'm getting a very good um, vape self of it. It's very flavorful. It's very cloudy. It's delicious. I, that e-liquid is delicious. I, was, I wasn't going to be, I was not surprised about that because Puff Labs has not let me down so far when it comes to their e-liquid. They're just amazing. <laughs> amazing. And I think I got it at the right temperature. I got it at the right um, I just wicked it very well. I did a really good job. I'm very proud of myself. Pat myself on the back. Gotta say, I think I definitely recommend this for a beginner um, person, someone that wants to get into RTAs, but they're new at it. Um, they have problems wicking anyway. Like I have big issues wicking because I always use too much wicking. I mean, too much wicking, too much wick. But with this one, I actually just use a little pit, little like literally like just pinched it off of the um, roll of, of cayenne. I cannot think today. And I just wicked it up and then I, well, how I do it is I cut my wicks to an angle from the, from the top right here. I just do it as an angle, put it in, lift it up so it's not touching the floor of the well. Travis taught me that. And then, yeah, it just it's, it's, I'm getting great vapes out of it. And it's definitely wicking because I see my juice going down, my e-liquid going down, down, down every time I vape. So it's definitely wicking very well. I guess I see what he means. Like, okay. <laughs> 
That is so weird because within the time that I just said that I was getting good wicks and I was getting good um, juice, um, all that, it might have been the e-liquid that I primed it from with. I primed my, because of course you, you know, I primed it first. And um, now I'm, it's not wicking as good. And I, it's definitely, I didn't put a lot of cotton at all. It's definitely, like, I had a lot of space in my um, wick holes and it wasn't like bulging or like bulging it wasn't like stuffed or anything I see my cotton so it isn't like it's not getting to to it it's just not wicking fast enough let me try to go a little lower let me go to like 895 and let's see how it goes with that Yeah, like you can actually hear it burning, and that's not good. I don't understand what is exactly going on with it. Let me see if I can open the top and see if I can see anything. No, I can't really see anything. Hmm. It's really weird, like, it's just not, I don't know, maybe you not need to get that top nice and tight. See that, that gave me a good nice hit, um, vape. It's just a hit or miss with this. It's weird. I don't know. It's not something I don't. I think I would want to like vape all the time because I definitely do not like dry hits. I I don't think anyone does. And if it's gonna sometimes give me dry hits, like I want to just vape on it and enjoy it and like not have to think about it. Am I like I just want to vape on it and enjoy it without having to actually put so much so much thought into when I'm vaping that I'm thinking oh I might get a dry hit this time like I don't like that fear when I'm vaping something which is why I usually stick to RT RDAs because RTAs are so finicky and I definitely wick this perfectly like the I listen to every rule I've ever learned and I did it with this and it just seems like it's not working like it should see now it's working I don't I don't know I don't know it's like it's it's very um I don't know <laughs> it's very iffy iffy like it's one minute it might it wants to vape and I have it all the way closed It seems like you get better um, vapes when you have it somewhat closed rather than having it open all the way. When you have it open all the way, I guess it gives it too much air and it dries it out faster. Because now I'm getting like perfect vapes. So my advice to it, if you're going to purchase it, is don't... I. I mean, I love it full blast open because I love them clouds, but honestly, I just have it closed just a smidge. Like, let me show you. Sorry, I don't have autofocus, so I have to focus you in. I have it just closed just a smidge, you see? And that is actually doing the job. It's making it vape better um when you have it wide open i think it's giving it too much air and it's drying it out just a little bit too much making maybe a little bit too much heat i have it at 95 watts now and it's vaping like a charm so i don't know i don't like rtas like that i like i feel like i'm getting choked uh, <laughs> i like rtas where i can just enjoy it and i can vape it how i want to vape it i don't have to put too much thought into it i don't have to I don't want rolls when I vape something that I purchase. I want to vape it how I want to vape it. And it just seems like it's very finicky. But it's definitely vaping better now. And 
It seems like it's working nice. You just can't chain vape it because it's an RTA and you have to give it time. I, uh, it seems like any time I have an RTA that the airflow is on the top, I have issues like this. That they're just very finicky. And I, I, I would rather deal with a little bit of leaking and have the airflow at the bottom and have good um, wicking rather than have the airflow at the top and it's like an annoying woman where you have to like step on seat she sells walking around there because she might be crabby one day. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. I don't know. A girl on PMS. I don't know. It's like one minute it wants to work great and the next minute it doesn't. But regardless, I think it's a nice RTA. Um you just you have to keep you have to work it out how it works for you what temperature works for you and stuff like that yeah it's annoying but it gives good flavor when when it does work it gives great flavor yeah so that is a Salomon two leak proof RTA from K's. Let me, I forgot to look to see how much this was. Let me Google it right quick for you guys. Sorry. I also want to thank Kevin's Gifts for sending this out to me for the purpose of this review. It is very inexpensive. It's only $25.80 which is really, really good it's actually on sale right now <clears throat> and I'm sure you can find other places for cheaper but I'm going to put Heaven's Gifts link at the bottom because they're the ones that sent it to me um it is a good RTA you just got to figure it out it's a single coil it's a top airflow for me I just don't like top airflows that much because of this reason because they're very they don't wick that well to me but I, it, when it does wick well, it gives you great flavor, and it's not like it's a constant problem with the wicking. It's just once in a while. Sometimes you might, you might, you just almost get a dry hit, and then you, you know, you just got, you, you can't chain vapor. It. That's all. It's to it. You gotta let it sit. You gotta let it get its, get its um, juice on. Let it drink up some juice, and then you can vape it again. I don't know. I kind of, I'm on the fence with it. I kind of recommend it. I kind of don't recommend it. Um, because I just almost got dry vape again. I don't know. This is very confusing to me. Because I like it, but I hate it. It's one of those things. Um, but, yeah. I think it's just, you have to figure out the, the wicking style and how much airflow to give it and how much heat to give it. Maybe with a different coil on it, it might act better. It, I did use the coil that it get, they provided, which was a pretty nice coil. So I don't know why I would like do that. But it was also it heated up really fast. So when, when you're having RTA, I don't think you want something to heat up too fast because then it'll dry out the cotton faster. So that could be the reason. Also, I also like I also took a thing off. I don't know, guys. This is a very confusing RTA. <laughs> I'm not a really big fan of RTAs because of this reason. They're just too complicated for me. It's just too much thinking into it. I just want to drip and vape. That's all I want to do. And that's why I don't really use RTAs. But I know there's people out there that love them. And you, prob you probably wouldn't have this reason. I mean, these problems if you're an RTA lover because you're used to wicking them, you're used to using them, you know the chemistry to them to make them work correctly. I don't because I don't use them like that. So to for me it's an issue. It's not something I would want to use all the time, but for somebody that uses RTAs, you probably love it and you're probably going to be blown away by it because it does have good flavor so I probably am doing something wrong it's probably user error when it comes to how I, the problems I'm having because I just don't use RTAs very often and um like I get them all the time but they, they literally I have a graveyard of RTAs 
on my table and I just don't use them very often because I just want to drip and vape. That's all I want to do. I'm very lazy when it comes to vaping. I don't want to have to deal with all this other crap. So I I stick to the R RDAs. <clears throat> But for those that do love these RTAs and that want to try the Solomon, Solomon 2 RTA out, I have a giveaway going on. So for you, for you guys or girls out there that love RTAs and are big fans of them and know how to use them, I have a extra one that Thanks to Heaven's Gifts sent me out too. And this one is for you guys. So... It's, there is no catch to it. There is no strings or anything to it. You don't have to do anything but comment below that you are interested in this RTA and you want this <laughs> in your in your collection. So if you want a Salomon 2 in your collection, just comment below. I want this or any. Just comment you want it. Anything. I don't. I don't know. Just so I know you want it. And then by at the end of this week. If I will put it on the um, bottom right here of my video when I figure out the date. Um, and you have till then to comment below that comment in the comment section that you want it, and then I'll do a random pick, and the winner will get a Salomon too for their RTA collection. <laughs> um, yeah, I just. I basically been trying. I'm, I'm trying to figure out um, giveaway. Free, give, I'm just trying to fi figure out giveaways for you guys because I appreciate you and I love that you support me and you stick by me throughout everything. And I love that you guys don't care that I have my beauty channel on my thing. I saw your comments and you were like, "Do what you do. It's your channel. Do it. We don't care." I was like. They love me. It just made me smile um, because it just is so much of a hassle having two channels. It's so much easier to have just one. So if, when I seen that, I was so happy and yeah. So I figured I would do a giveaway, which I've been sitting on. Sadly, I just been so busy with everything else, and then I just got into like a lazy. I didn't want to do videos for a minute, kind of thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so I have this. For giveaway, if you want it, then put put a comment below. Anything. I love cats, but and I want that RTA. I I love rainbows, and I want that RTA. I don't know. Just let me know that you want it. You're interested in it, and I will put you in the contest, or not the contest, the giveaway, and. A lucky one there will have one will have the Solomon 2 in their collection of RTAs, RDAs, and whatever. Um, vaping stuff. Alright guys, well that is all I had to do. That is all I wanted to say. <laughs> Alright guys, well that is all for now. Um, I hope you guys want this. <laughs> it is a very nice RD, RTA if you know how to use them. I'll leave the, uh, the other giveaway um, rules in the description box so make sure you read that and this is only US only sorry um, and yeah that's it and I will be paying for shipping so you don't have to worry about it there is no charge or anything like that just you when you if you win you have to send me your ID of course so I know you're 18 or older and you're you're be you're allowed to have this. <laughs> Alright guys, well I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did and yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell and hit that share and like button. So I know I'm doing my job right and I'm making you guys happy and share so other people can know who I am <laughs> and they can subscribe to my channel alright guys I will check you out and don't forget I still am doing that th that 220 milliliter e-liquid giveaway so we need to get my name out there so 
Get on it. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. But I'm still doing that giveaway. I did not forget about it. I'm just waiting to reach 300 subscribers and then we can release the giveaway. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.